CNMC's Weed School is brought to you by Bear Crop Science. Uh, Pat, what are we looking for in the field today? Today, uh, the wheat is starting to turn color. It's a good time to be checking for armyworm. This area in the background where it's lodging is an ideal place. Uh, every year we have armyworm and the best place to start looking for them is in lodged areas. The adult moths come flying in and they find these lodged areas, lay their eggs there, and we check those lodged areas to see how bad it is and then what parasites are there and then just monitor how fast they are growing. Every year you can find armyworm in some of these lodge fields. So what kind of yield effects can armyworm have on a field? Uh, it can be devastating. You know, you can have 50-60% yield loss. Uh, in the last 30 to 40 years, there's only been one year where there has been significant. And that was a year when the adults were blowing in early, it, the weather did not favor the build of a parasite, and they got ahead of us. But typically, the adults are blown in, and the moths lay their eggs, the parasites control them, and most years we see very little damage from them. There are spots, you know, there's many little hot spots that could be a quarter of an acre or a half an acre, and uh, they can be devastating in that area until the parasites build up. Anytime you have insects in the field, there's also natural enemies that can help uh, control the issue. What, what's the natural enemy of an armyworm? Uh, they got two major natural enemies. One is a wasp that lays its eggs on the back of the armyworm. And then if you're skidding the field, you'll see these little, uh, look like white cotton balls. And the eggs are laid on the back of the armyworm. The uh, larvae develop inside and then they completely, you know, get rid of the armyworm larva and you just have this little pile of white uh, cottony balls where the armyworm was. The other is a disease. I thought we might be able to find it here today, but I guess uh, the weather conditions are not right. It's a fungus that attacks the armyworm and then the armyworm will, will crawl to the head of the plant and then uh, it just sort of glues on to the head of the plant until the first rain comes. But if you start seeing uh, armyworm glued to the head of the plant, you know the disease is very rampant in the field and that's natural control. Uh, uh, one of the areas that the adults first come in are is in large wheat and here you can see the start of uh, some of the feeding damage. Now this feeding damage you can tell by the way that the leaf has sort of turned brown around the edge. That is not real uh, recent feeding that's gone on but there should be some armyworm down in here if now there's one just dropped and there's two that have just dropped down uh, now today is sort of a cooler overcast day so they're not very they're not very active in fact this guy is not very active at all ah now this is the this is what I was talking about earlier on Rob these this is the um, parasite working and these are the eggs of the wasp that has been laid, the wasp laid the eggs into the back of an armyworm and that's all that's left of that armyworm. So now we know that there are parasites in here. Uh, these are all in the cocoon stage. I'll see if I can get some more sunlight onto it. That one time was an army worm. The wasp laid its eggs into it. They ate it out and developed into cocoon. So these will soon uh, emerge as more wasp and then they'll start attacking more of the army worm. So this is natural control at its finest. Great.